I've tested a lot of monitors in my time and I've pretty much come to the conclusion that ultra wide is best. It gives you a much higher level of screen real estate and it really can help with immersion. But the thing is, there aren't really that many ultrawides that are geared towards gaming, and a lot of the others aren't really so great when it comes to responsiveness and in input lag. So what about this one from LG, the UC79G, LG's first gaming monitor that is an ultrawide. So the first thing you'll probably notice about the monitor is its design, and I have to say LG somehow managed to nail this every single time. And it's because they keep it simple. It's a gaming monitor, yes, but it isn't really obvious. It doesn't have all of these over-the-top gaming features that put a lot of people off. The stand itself has plenty of adjustments, but not every single one. Height adjust and tilt, you've got both, and you've got plenty of both. But unfortunately, there's no swivel here. So if you're wanting to use this with another monitor, this might start to affect you, but for most people, it's probably not going to be a concern. If you do want to switch it out, there is a visa mount on the back though, and the design language here is very similar, and it does look good from the back. Port selection is also very good, as we've got two HDMI and then one display port. You can use FreeSync for either, I believe, and the on-screen menu system is controlled with a four-way selector located on the front of the monitor underneath, and LG's menu system is very easy to use itself as well. And pair the two together, and if you do want to calibrate or change any settings with your monitor, it is very, very easy to do so. Once you have got this thing set up though, I think depending on what you've used before, you'll either be very pleased or maybe a little disappointed. Obviously this is a 34 inch curved monitor with a resolution of 2560 by 1080. Now that in itself is a little bit of a problem because the level of detail you get just frankly isn't great to a lot of the other more high-end monitors I've used before. And if you've ever used anything like a 27 inch 1440p panel, it will definitely feel like a step down with pixelation in text, and while it's gonna be fine for normal use and fine for gaming as we'll discuss in a moment, if you do want to do anything a little bit serious on this, then I think it will be quite off-putting for you, to be honest. The other area of concern is actually with the IPS panel, as normally what you'd expect with something like this is maybe a slightly slower response time, but then great color accuracy and a panel that just pops and everything on screen looks great. But there's quite a few issues here as well. There is quite a lot of ghosting, a lot more than I've noticed on other gaming monitors, especially TN panels, and as soon as you engage the 144Hz mode, then the brightness drops down, and if you do engage the one millisecond motion blur reduction, then the brightness even goes down a little bit further as well. And it's just never ever wowed me, this thing. It's been perfectly fine for what I've used it for, but it's never really impressed me. I think that if you've used a load of TN panels before, then it is definitely a step up but those are definitely more responsive as well. So there's definitely a lot of trade-off with this particular monitor that you do need to be careful of if you are considering it. But obviously this is a gaming monitor and it's all about gaming. The resolution is not really that much of a concern when you get into games, as while I definitely prefer something higher, it is a lot easier to drive and it means that you can get a monitor with a high refresh rate and not have to spend an absolute fortune on your graphics card. And it's here that having the IPS panel does help. Again, it's not as good as some others I've used, but it definitely does look better than a TN panel. And while there is some ghosting and the whole thing doesn't look quite as responsive, it definitely feels more responsive than a 60 Hz panel. So again, there is quite a few trade-offs here, but generally speaking, it is very good. And it's been my monitor of choice recently for PUBG, as the extra level of immersion from the ultra wide, I think really does help. There is also AMD FreeSync technology here that can help to reduce stutter and tearing in your games. So if you're an AMD user with something like a 480, 580 or up, I think that this is a very good pairing for you. So having said all of this, would I actually recommend the UC79G? Well, to be honest with you, there is actually a lot that I don't like about it. The fact that it's an IPS panel, but it's not actually great for a lot of productivity stuff, it is a little off-putting, and despite the fact I've been playing hours and hours of games on this monitor, it does mean that it's not something I would personally want to invest in, as the resolution is just a little bit low for what I would do, and as the brightness takes a massive hit as soon as you engage the gaming modes, it's not really something that appeals to me. 
But as someone that has just been playing games for the last two weeks or so, I mean, I must have clocked up at least 40 hours with this monitor in PUBG alone, it's been great for that. And if you have a graphics card that isn't the most powerful out there, you want a large ultra wide and you want to fill your uh, field of view with the most immersive monitor possible that you can actually drive, then this does come highly recommended and it does win the bronze award. If you want some more information, then I will leave a link to the monitor description and some uh, Amazon affiliate links down in the description below for you. Let me know what you thought of this video though. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Hit the dislike if you did not. As always, a massive thank you to you guys for watching and of course to LG for loaning this review sample out. Hit me up with any questions you may have. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.